Bueno, hola a todos, bienvenidos a Radioactivo 97.9 y para nosotros es un placer porque hace unos meses estuvo acá, estuvimos haciendo un Instagram Live, pero la tenemos con nueva canción, la tenemos con nuevos proyectos durante toda esta cuarentena y es LP que está con nosotros. LP, how are you? It's a pleasure. I'm good, man. It, it, it's my third time interviewing you. I, I think some people say three is a lucky number, so let's, let's, let's knock <laughs> this do, interview huh? out of the park. How are you? How's everything going? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just, um, you know, um, kind of working on just finishing up the next um, single artwork and the and the song and um, the mix of the song and uh, getting ready to drop another song in a little while. But um, just, you know, getting ready for this drive in um, show that I'm going to do on the 14th of November. Just fun. Um, and uh, yeah, just all those things, you know, um, writing, playing, singing. We're going to talk about that because you have a lot of projects and a lot of things that all of your fans want to know, but they will kill me if I don't ask how is Orson. Oh my God. He's so good. <laughs> he's a little, he's a little weird out because I was doing yoga earlier and I was in a headstand and I almost like, he like, he, he literally, <laughs> he saw my, my face and he came like right up to my face and I was like, whoa, we almost had a, like a, a tragedy. <laughs> so he's all like freaked out right now, but he's good. Yeah. Okay. Three months have passed since our last meeting. Uh, we did an Instagram live. We're going to yeah. talk about a lot of things, but um, during that interview, you told us that you were going to make a surprise for your fans. And I think a week or two weeks later, you dropped the one that you love, that this song was written <laughs> you while you were in Mexico. Wow. See, I, I knew we did something, but I didn't remember, like, it's hard for me to, like, everything's, like, smushed together now. I'm yeah, just, like, I, I you think know, usually you... I can remember things from countries, like, and where I've been and everything. But, like, when I do these things home, I'm just like, the fuck happened? I don't even remember. All right, 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 right. Three weeks ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, and, and, and I know you have a lot of press conferences and interviews, but I want you to tell us what's the story behind this particular song that was a surprise during that time. Um, I mean, you know, the story is um, like most of my stories, you know, it's just um, shit that's going on in my head and uh, trying to... Um, you know, uh, catch it as it flies out, you know? Um, this song in particular was um, not a song that I had, um, especially lyrically. I, I like to start lyrically and with conceptual ideas of like uh, like a title. I, I write really fast, um, but I write even faster when I have like the concept um, and, the, and the actual title that I'm gonna say, but I didn't have that with this. I just was like uh, kind of, um, It, just like the first first sentence of the song flew out and then I just kind of saw this whole and felt all these emotions and I just let it let it fly you know and I feel like um you know I just like captured what was coming out you know and um and Mike as well and Nate you know we just kind of like we're all there like kind of we had gotten inspired by a, um at dinner by a ranchero singer that um came by I mean uh, was sitting there um playing for dinner and uh he was just so cool and had such a vibe and then we went back and took that kind of like that feeling back with us and and started that song and and it was like you know by you know 2 a.m it was ripping <laughs> it was mm. good the the importance of having great energy around you know it's i think it's yeah really important well for that's why everything. i like to travel yeah that's why i like to go somewhere when i write because it's all kinds of shit like that you know i mean it's always You know, I think um, life is very uh, experience oriented, you know, I mean, it, every single second is an experience. So um, when you're a writer, you're um, trying to capture things um, and separate the, um, you know, the like the excitement from the mundane, you know, and sometimes the mundane will inspire you and sometimes something, you know, like there's a, a fleeting spark, you know, like I try to like write down stuff whenever I'm hearing it I mean or thinking of it because I'm always like no 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 I'll remember that that's a good one I'll remember it. <laughs> I don't fucking remember I don't remember anything I don't, I don't, I'm just like I'm like bloop. I'm like a goldfish I'm just like <laughs> yeah, okay yeah I don't I don't remember no I don't remember like I don't remember anything I I, I think I'm the same kind of person <laughs> 
right? I think we all are, you know, when you're yeah. just like, oh God, that's such a good idea. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> what was the idea? <laughs> and then you try to remember, yeah, but exactly. you, you don't, and it's so frustrating. <laughs> but I, I'm not tired of telling oh my God, you. It's the worst. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm not tired of telling you that your voice is unique. Uh, this song proves proves it even more. Um, I, w I ha only have one problem with this song, and it's that it ends. It's, it's, <laughs> it's that it ends. Because oh, I, ha I'll, I have a remix for you. It's uh, 20 minutes long. <laughs> the it's guitar. Like, like an ice pick in your ear, like. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the guitar, oh, the drumming, uh, <laughs> those things are really dope. But when your voice enters into the song, it's such an amazing feeling. And oh, okay. I think that is one of your best vocal performances. Really? Yeah. It's really hard. I got to tell you, that song is um, um, what we call a, a bitch. <laughs> it's a pain <laughs> in the ass. <laughs> it's like uh, I had this whole thing because I just did this. I did a, uh, a live thing uh, that's really soft, you know, and, uh, and it's good, but it's not my favorite because I wasn't used to singing that song soft yet either. I mean, I'm not used to singing it loud yet either. You know, it's like, It's a, you know, a behemoth of a song. It's like a lot of, it's a lot of um, voices in that song. It feels very like, um, you know, and uh, I don't know, for me, it's hard. I mean, there's probably thousands of people that could sing it <laughs> better than I can. But for me, I'm just like, oh God, no. <laughs> But yeah, it's cool. I, I like work on it all the time. It's like a pain in the ass. Yeah. What's the special thing? Because I know it is always very special but what's the special thing about working with Mike Del Rio and Nate company um you know it's like it's like we're in a band but um uh, so I think like we've gotten so like w we are a band I always say it but like you know not really but like you know we're we're like a writing band of sorts and I feel like we uh you know we just really know um we get the other person, you know, and I feel like it's a really symbiotic, beautiful kind of relationship where we just like, we help each other, we support each other without even trying. It's like, you know, and, and we're just like those, those kind of friends like that don't get to see each other like all the time, except recently we can see each other more, but, but, you know, like, you know, you have those friends that you, you don't see all the time, but every time you do, you're just like, it's, you have the best time. And it's like, always like, you know, you're like right there with them again. And so it's kind of like, it's like that. And, um, and I think, um, you know, like I'll save, I work with other people too. There's other things, but um, I'll, I'll know when I need to save an idea, especially for them. Um, you know, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a nice feeling. And I think um, we just get more and more, I think we think more and more about how to how to like kind of like on this next record like even this next single um we took it to a lot of different places you know I think we uh especially like I'm, I'm singing in like in like weird in between keys that I never sing in um you know we have some stuff that's like more like kind of rhythm oriented like a little bit and uh it's really it's a nice uh it's a nice feeling to feel like um if I have a great idea that, that I feel like is a great idea that I can present it for them and, and we just run with it, you know, or like, or we can just like have nothing and just sit in a room and go, Hey, let's do this. You know I mean? Hmm. It's like, and we, and we really kind of um, even, you know, uh, one of the reasons why I got into like kind of changing the space up where we go when we write was because I remember they came out to see me. I had like two days off in Paris one time while, while I was on tour and they came out to see me and, we wrote um, a song called When We're High. And um, and it was funny how it like started. I don't know, we, we, we had talked about like something like Elvis or something like that. And then all the next thing you know, we're like singing When We're High. It had nothing to do with Elvis, you know, like shit like that, but it's fun. You know, I feel like, I feel very uh, comfortable with them. That's a, my long winded answer for that. <laughs> but I, I think it's also amazing to get out of what you can call a comfort zone. And, and try yeah. to challenge oh, you even more. Zone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in a lot of songs on this record, I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone, e even vocally. I mean, I keep going for it harder, like vocally, you know, to the point where I'm like, I mean, I, I think the last, the last set that we had, even from heart to mouth, I was like, "Woo! Hope I can sing this set." <laughs> <laughs> I was you know, so I feel like this one's no different, <laughs> but it's like different in a weird, in a weird way. 
Amazing. Um, let's talk about the video. The video is amazing. It's like Western style. We can see you dressed in a white suit, riding a horse. I think it, <laughs> it was directed by Darren Craig, who also has worked yes. with Rihanna, yeah. Papa Roach, Shakira from Colombia. Yeah. Um, yeah. Was it recorded during the pandemic? Yeah. Uh, yes, it was one of the very early um, productions to go down, like um, after the pandemic started. And, um, you know, I think that it was it was difficult. It almost didn't happen like a few times. It was like it was like a lot of Darren did a lot of great work to like kind of push it through and get it going, you know. But uh, it was um, it was him that um, suggested the horse, which I thought was brilliant, you know. And yeah. uh, I had ridden horses, you know, before and when I was younger and and uh So I was like, oh, that's really cool. You know, like, I don't think what I like about it is I always like the first song off the record to have like a, you know, like a, a, a little bit of a different element than anything I've done, of course, you know. Um, and I feel like, you know, me on a horse was definitely something nobody had seen. <laughs> I haven't even seen it. But, but it's amazing. Think, I, you know, <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. And thanks to the, everybody who, um, you know, helped me do it. And, uh, you know, it was a. Uh, It was really run very tight ship, you know, very by the book, you know, I was the only one not wearing a mask and it's weird, you know, it's weird enough, like shooting things. I'm not an actor. So like, when I'm shooting a video, I'm like, well, this is so weird. <laughs> like a bunch of people around, like, like not involved in the action and just being like, you know, doing all this shit. And so it was like, um, kind of interesting to, uh, to see it, that with everybody wearing a mask, you know, <laughs> it's just yeah. like, kind of like very strange. It was weird before the pandemic to watch people wearing masks, and now it's weirder yeah. not watching them <laughs> yeah. using them. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yes. I mean, you know, uh, uh, listen. I mean, um, Asian people were way ahead of the curve as far as like being, you know, I, I always saw people uh, wearing masks, you know, on planes and stuff like that, and, and it was always like a curiosity, like, oh my gosh, you know, like why why are they wearing a mask, or you know, and And the best part about it is that I feel like, you know, it's really to protect other people, which is like so cool and something yeah. that um, we all had to like kind of discover like on our own, you know, in the world. I think uh, it's, um, I don't think it's that big a deal. I feel like it's such a big deal to some people, the whole mask thing. Hmm. I don't think it's like, I mean, I don't think you should wear one. I think not wearing one is like, why? Like, you know, why not try to help people? Yeah. And if you were, if you, if, if you people that are listening to us wear masks, we are going to have live shows sooner. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. Like all the countries that uh, like really were disciplined with wearing masks, like are doing better. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what else you can say, <laughs> you know, just I, back. I want to talk about th those two drive concerts that are, you are doing on November 14. Yeah. How is it going to be and how is it for you to perform? Because you also did a virtual concert, I think it was in August. Um, yeah. How is the experience for you to do a show with no people in front of you? Um, how was that show? Yeah. How, how was the August 1st show? Uh, you know, when I watch it, the more I was thinking about it this morning, actually, it's funny. And I was thinking... You know, I'm not gonna lie. It's not easy. You know, like kind of doing it without anybody there and trying to pump yourself up with energy. It's not my favorite. I mean, I mean, you could do it for a song, but like, you know, it's a lot um, going song to song to song and just it being, you know, silent. It's like a, you know, because it becomes more about, um, for me, it becomes more about precision, which I don't think live music is necessarily you know what I mean like I think I think yeah to a point it is and you know but but I feel like it's loose and it depends a lot on the crowd and what goes down that's why people love it so much because shows are unique you know like the energy that you get because it's like not only is the crowd you know responsible for like you know um, exchanging energy with me and I get like a whole rush and everything it's also the mood I'm in that day so it takes on this new life like I'm in a certain mood And then I'm faced with a certain crowd and then we go on this journey together and it's beautiful. You know, I really um, believe in that. And, um, and that's why I love live performance. And, uh, but uh, on, on a live stream, I feel like it's very, um, you know, my, in my head, I'm just like, 
oh that wasn't perfect oh god damn it okay well uh, like and then i start thinking about it then i'm like you know 20 sentences away and i'm like jesus christ why am i still thinking about that note that was like not my favorite you know and then i'm like fucking up other things and it's really like it's a little too like i hopefully i can get out of my head in that way for future ones but um i definitely like had it, it wasn't easy for me i would tell you and how is the experience for the, these drive concerts that are going to happen in on november uh that's gonna be a little different at least you know people will be in cars <laughs> but i'll be able to see them i'll be like yeah <laughs> honk twice was that good honk i want to shit i didn't know you, you maybe can you can you honk at drive-ins probably not it's probably like no, no honking no 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 for example in in drive-in cinemas you you need to turn yeah. off the lights of your car off the yeah. lights And well, if, I guess that would be blinding. I would just realize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you want to ask for food, if you want to ask for food, you need to put the the parking lot light. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It, oh, this is gonna be wild. Yeah, I haven't even thought of all the <laughs> shit yet. Like, I have no, I have no idea what I'm in for. I don't even know. Is it? Um, I've never been to one. So, is there? Is there? Are there speakers on the stage? Are people hearing it live, or is it all in there? apps and on the radio on the radio on the radio it's yeah. weird <laughs> it's really weird but yeah. it's i what, mean you know it it'll be something to say you don't want to be like <laughs> remember those driving concerts and be like nope i don't <laughs> yeah <laughs> i didn't do any i'm like glad i'm doing one it's just like you know it's just like everything right now it's like it's a it, it's an experience it's a new thing Cultural expressions uh, are very important. I think music is necessary <laughs> during these times, and this year has been rough in many ways, even in music. Uh, recently, with the deaths of Johnny Nash, Eddie Van Halen, uh, but on the other side, I think music is what keep us alive, what keep us hoping, uh, not getting tired of many things that are happening outside the pandemic, politics, many things, wars. Yeah. Um, what has kept you alive during this 2020? <laughs> um wine beer <laughs> no, I'm kidding. um actually it's like kept me less alive i haven't been drinking for a, a little bit just because i'm just like i was it's so boring you know i like drink to celebrate stuff you know so um there hasn't been a lot to celebrate <laughs> recently just as far as like i don't know it just like got like it got like boring but um you know uh trying to keep um um exercise is really like important to me you know meditation when I can do it I'm I'm like my brain is like I, I feel like yoga is my meditation but I also do meditation on top of that but um uh walking around you know feels good <laughs> really simple things basically you know what I mean um and music has been like you know a savior for me uh, for sure like making it and uh you know I got a new guitar that I really love that has like you know a lot of life in it And that's, uh, that's been fun. Um, I just like, again, just the simple, simple stuff. Um, and just, uh, you know, trying to remember that it's, you know, I, I spent a lot of time um, in my life and my career, like kind of waiting for certain things, you know, it was always like waiting till like that person, like, you know, till I get signed, waiting till like they approve the single, waiting until like, you know, it was like, I always felt like I was very much at the mercy of the person making the decisions. And, and now re the irony is that recently I'm, you know, I'm kind of making my own decisions and I have my, I'm very like kind of in, in control with my managers of what, you know, is happening. And now we have this, which is another whole level of, you know, um, when, when you're allowed to do something. And uh, I just think that in those times, it's best to just, um, kind of stay in the present, you know, and not get to, um, you know, I, I think all the best things that happened to me in my life um, were when I like just kept, you know, my mantra was like, right now, right now, right now, just take care of right now. And just like, you know, and go into the unknown. And, uh, and the unknown is often like, you know, wilder than you would ever imagine, you know, and, and by like holding on to like some, uh, holding on to some preconceived notion of, the future is very is not the answer for me that's you know you asked <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable uh, i want to thank you lp for such a nice time it's always a pleasure for me talking to you it's always yeah, a pleasure man, for us too, huh? having you I'm here radioactiva <laughs> 
Um, yeah, it's good I, to see I, you. I, also, I can't wait till we hang out in person. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for that moment. And I also want to <laughs> thank all your fans because they are lovely. Brazil, Chile, Argentina, are, Spain, Fran Spain, France, UK, yeah. Ukraine, Mexico. I love them all. Yeah. I love you guys. It's, it's such Thank amazing. You. Finally, can you, you... always uh, make me look good. <laughs> can you send a greeting for uh, all your fans here in Radioactiva in Colombia? Hi, it's LP, and I love my Colombian fans and Radioactiva and um, and my South American peeps and Mexican peeps and every, all the peeps, and um, and I love you, Andres, and um, I can't wait to see you all again in person. Thank you so much for uh, sticking with me in these crazy times. Oh, look, Orson's here. Come here, Orson. Come <laughs> he wanted to say hi. He said, oh, hi, God. Orson. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? It Hi. It's like the perfect ending for an interview. <laughs> It is. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, All LP. Right. We love you. you. All right. Bye. Love bye. you too. Bye. Bye.